everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen. And today we are going to have salmon for dinner. Now, my girls like it straight up just poached with lemon and tarragon. So that's how I'm going to make theirs. But uh, Rick and I are going to have ours a different way. I've been wanting to try out um, a delicious soy ginger marinade for our salmon. So that's what we're going to do tonight. And what I have is, I have a lime. I'm going to go ahead and squeeze that in there. And you don't need a lot. I'm going to say about a tablespoon of lime juice. If, I wouldn't put much more than that in there simply because you don't, you know, the citrus will actually cook your fish. And you don't want that. Um, then you'll end up with salmon ceviche and blech. I'm not a big fan of ceviche. That's just me. Okay. Don't throw those lime halves away. We're going to come back to those. All right. Um, soy sauce. About a quarter of a cup. About two tablespoons of brown sugar. About a tablespoon of toasted sesame oil. About one clove of chopped garlic. And then I have some ginger here. And I just showed you guys in another video a real quick way of peeling the ginger so that you don't have to use a knife even to do it. You just use the back of a spoon. So I'm going to chop just this little piece of ginger. I have three green onions that I chopped up, whites and green parts. And that's it. Grab a spoon. Give this a stir. Get everything mixed up in there really well. Mm, it smells really amazing. Mm -hmm. mm. yeah, good. That's going to be good. Mm. Okay, I have two salmon fillets in the Ziploc bag. Get it all in there. And then these limes. I'm just going to cut them up. Awesome. Now, and then get as much air out of there as I can. Mm. I'm just going to give it a little massage. I'm going to let this sit on the counter for about 15 minutes, and then we'll be back when it's time to put these in the oven. Okay, we are ready to pop our salmon fillets into the oven. I have my oven preheated at 350 degrees. I've taken them out of the marinade bag and we're just going to toss this. It's easy cleanup. You really shouldn't use this over again. So for safety's sake, we've already infused this fish with all that delicious flavor. So while I'm poaching the girls fish on top of the stove, I'm going to pop this in the oven for about 15 minutes or so. Um, I will check it at 10 minutes and we're going to take it out just as it begins to flake and is still moist and delicious. So in it goes. I'll turn the light on for you. We'll be back when that's ready to take out. Okay, it has been about 10 minutes and I just tested it with a fork. It started to flake, so guess what? We're gonna take it out of the oven and we're gonna let it rest for a minute. It smells fantastic, it looks beautiful. You can see how that marinade has kind of created with that little bit of sugar in there, uh, its own glaziness and it looks beautiful. So mm -hmm. I can't wait to try it. We're gonna let it does look nice, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to let it sit for a few minutes. I'm waiting for my rice to finish, and then we're going to fix you a plate, and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, there you have it. A beautiful plate for a Sunday meal. We have our glazed soy ginger salmon filet that just took about 10 minutes in the oven, and it's perfectly cooked. I made some mushroom rice pilaf, and I steamed some green beans with a little olive oil, salt and pepper, and they're delicious. So that is a beautiful meal. I hope you try it. It's super simple. I hope you love it. Until next time, I'll see ya. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you liked what you watched today, and I hope that you try it, and I hope that you love it. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. 
And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest and Instagram and Google Plus and Blogger. I have a blog over there and you can take a look at that. You can um, subscribe to that feed as well. And don't forget that every recipe that you see me um, do here on YouTube, with the exception of a few earlier ones, you can access all of the recipes over on my website, nareenskitchen.com, where you will find printer-friendly versions of those recipes so you can print them out and keep them for your own. So, I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!